Okay, Walt. This video is for you. Here's my boat. It's a StarCraft 1964 model. 14 and a half foot long. Has an 18 horse 1957 Evinrude twin cylinder. The boat originally came with a wooden floor in it. As you can see, I've taken the wooden floor out. Uh, also had like a captain's seat right in this area and it had a steering wheel with steering cables, throttle control and everything that went back to this engine. I took all that stuff out of there. It had fish finder. You can see the cable over there. It had a fish finder in it. Uh, still had the the wooden slats in there for the seats. I've taken the wooden slats out. They was all rotted. Still has the front piece on here. This is where the um, fish finder mounted. That's going to come off. This is all going to come off. Um, it's on a trailer. It's a decent trailer. It's, it's not a great one. It needs lights put on it. It's got one light on it down there. It's not a very good light. But I'm going to put up rights on it. Put the lights up above the boat so when I back into the water, keep them out of the water. I don't know if you can see, but it's got bearing buddies on the wheels. Uh, I'm not sure what size them tires are. I think they're, they might be 14 inch. This boat was won as part of a bet that my daughter made uh, with the Ohio State Buckeyes. I can't remember who they were playing, but whoever they were playing, they beat that team. And this is what the guy bet my daughter. And this is what he paid up. Like I said, it wasn't wasn't very very good shape. I mean, uh, you know, bought it off her for two hundred and fifty dollars. My son actually bought it. He said he's going to give it to me, and it become my project. Trying to get it fixed, but this year, two thousand and eighteen. Has not been a very good year for me getting anything done. Um, <laughs> I've worked uh, over 700 hours of physical overtime already this year. This is like November the 17th. And um, I just haven't had time to do anything this year. I've worked on a few saws, a few weed eaters, a leaf blower. But nothing like I usually do. But anyway, like I said, this is my project boat, Walt. Uh, this is... Actually, it was used on the river here in Ohio, uh, Scioto River, and the guy used to do a lot of catfishing. Um, and it'll probably still be used on the river. It'll be used on lakes. But eventually, um, I'll get this thing going. I am going to put a, a wooden floor back in it. I'm going to put treated three-quarter inch plywood in there, just because it's already had a floor in it, so it's going to be fairly easy to put back in. But I am going to put the, the bench seats in, and I'm just going to use little swivel seats that attach down to the, the um, slat bench seats. The engine does run. I had it in a tank of water. Uh, it didn't run very good, uh, if I remember. I, I had it started shortly after we um, got it. Yeah. Um, I believe it only ran on one cylinder, so I don't know if the coil's bad, don't know if the points are bad. I didn't really mess with it, just seeing if it would run. Uh, this is the style of engine, Evinrude's OMC's, uh, the, the earlier engines had a two-line hookup. Had a two-line hookup. One is 
the pulse side off the crankcase that actually puts pressure into the gas tank. The other side is the fuel supply line. Um, I'm going to convert this over to the newer style and I'm going to put a fuel pump like the Mercury's have uh, to do away with the pressurized fuel system. Uh, the tank that come with it isn't in the best of shape, kind of rusty inside. I'm not sure what kind of shape the gearbox is in. The rubber cone is missing off of the prop. So, uh, it's a work in progress. But like I said, the boat itself is a 1964 Starcraft, 14 and a half foot. On a trailer. And the engine is an 18 horse, 1957 Evinrude. Hope to get mine in, into the same place yours is at there, Walt. Get it on the water again. See you later.